Okay, so this is all chopped up. I just have to find a dish for it. I think the other thing I need to do is to get the frying pan going. So, here's the dish for the cabbage. Fortunately, I have two or, two or three microwaves here. Do you like these chopping boards? Do you see what I can do with it? I have several of them in different colours, some for meat, some for vegetables. I don't know if I'm supposed to cover this or not. I might just leave it open. No, I'll cover it. Okay, I'm going to cover it with that and put it in one of the other microwaves. That microwave next to the oven over there. And I'll put this on for five minutes. Now this is some coffee that my mother made and totally forgot about. So I'll put it here for her. Here you go, Mum. Thank you. That's the coffee that you made. Alright, we'll put this microwave on for five minutes. And a I had to actually disconnect my mother's TV because it's very, very loud because she thinks she's deaf. She's not, but she thinks she is. And if she had it on, you wouldn't hear me talking. Okay, so that should be really short. Now what I've got is a tomato that's overripe. I should really throw it away. But I'm going to put it into this, into this public school. This is a very overripe tomato. I don't know how it's going to work out. Nice sharp knife does help. With bubble and squeak, you can use any other leftover vegetables you've got. You see, there's more water there than there usually is with tomato juice, and there usually is with your average tomato. So, bubble and squeak is often a vegetarian dish, no meats, but you can have it with meats on the side of the plate if you want. Ooh, that's hot. That's the sweet potato. I don't think I'm going to bother with meats. Maybe I will. I might cook a couple of sausages. Chipolatas. All right, here we go. Nice. You're going to get under my feet. Please try this chair again, please. Good boy, sit. Try the chair again. Good boy. Stay. 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 How long do you think he's going to stay? How, how comfortable do you think he looks? I think that tells the story. He's not going to stay for one second longer then he has to. Even a bit of panting there, see? And panting is a, is a definite sign of discomfort. 
So he's not going to stay there for too long. Okay, this is ready. This is the sweet potato straight in. Ooh, very hot. There it goes nice. Chopping has been virtually done except for these tomatoes here. So I think now I'll bring the camera over there to where I'm cooking. <laughs>